And for the last several months, we have relied on a network of sources, both current and former employees at ADOC, inmates and their families, to give us an idea of what's going on here inside this prison because ADOC's leadership has refused our requests for access inside. But now a veteran officer says he is speaking out because he couldn't stay silent any longer. If they're willing to treat officers like they are, how do you think they'd be willing to treat inmates? Stacy George resigned last week from a career he was proud of. That is until he says everything changed three years ago within ADOC. No, when I come in, Matt, this was the best job in Alabama. It's the best kept secret in Alabama. George worked as an officer assigned to guard some of the state's most violent offenders. He's watched the results with his own eyes of deteriorating conditions inside. Interaction, usually you have time to do is just reaction. All you're doing is reaction to a crisis, reacting to crisis. That's all you're doing. You're reacting. And then there's nobody to react at times. ADOC's own internal data shows violence and death inside limestone are increasing. This has to be handled right now. I'm talking about it can't go any further, Matt. This is this is the bowling point. George, like other ADOC staff members we've spoken with over the past months, believes a critical staffing shortage that has led to mandatory overtime and long hours for officers is leading to the current situation. Minimum staffing. I mean, we're talking about maybe maybe eight, maybe 12 officers um, at this point. Um, then if you have, you know, incarcerated individuals at hospitals, um, we're talking about there's no telling what it could be. I mean, you've got posts that are not manned. It's really a it's a really a sad situation. While George doesn't think ADOC or state leaders have a plan to fix this problem, he believes by telling his story in the coming weeks and months will force change. Help is on the way because I'm going to tell things that's never been told before, Matt. In the next few weeks, that's what I'm going to do. That's you have evidence here, right? ADOC should be af afraid of what you're going to be telling. They should be. They should be in total fear. George is headed to Montgomery on Friday for a rally at the state capitol to talk about these same issues with inmates, family members, and other advocates for incarcerated people across our state. He says he's also working on a new book deal, and he has lined up several network national news interviews in the next couple of weeks. Reporting in Harvest, Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News.